All right, lads, BSBI here, Big Sip Beer Review. And today's review, we're going to look at this lager. It's by Tetley's Brewery. I think that's what they're called, Tetley's Brewery. They are very famous for the Tetley's Bitter. And um, they've just brewed a new lager. My mate Luke Morris, he texted me the other day a picture of these. Um, have we ever seen this lager? Brand new. Nope, never seen it. I said, next time you're in the shop, he's a delivery driver, goes on all different convenience stores. I said, the next time you're in that shop, pick me some up, mate. I'll um, I'll try it out and try and get a review for the channel. So, Friday, he picked two up. Thank you very much, Luke. I'll review one now. I had just, <laughs> about an hour ago, I took the dog out and I come back and I went in the garden. So, I have had it. So, I'm not going totally blind. We're in a 660ml bottle and 4.6%. The review the bottle cap. If anyone's interested, it's uh, it's not fast focusing. Tetley's Joshua Tetley's and Son Brewery. Yeah, I think he picked two bottles up and they come to just under a fiver. So for a 660 ml bottle of lager, that's pr pretty good on the price. As well as in Wales, we've got our, um, a units by alcohol price as well, low. So we do, we have got to pay um, a little bit more than you lot in England or in the UK. I think Scotland got a law as well. I'm not too sure. So Tetley's number four is called. We are straw, golden straw-ish colour with a one finger white head with medium to high carbonation rising up the glass. And the aroma. Malts, biscuity malt. Lemon. Smells, smells quite good. Cheers, Luke. Chin chin, old buddy. Let's have a go. You got a nice smooth mouth feel, no carbonation, which you got carbonation flying up a glass. You don't you don't pick any of that up in your mouth in the mouth feel. I think we're all in here. We're, we're up to a full pint now. It smells decent, a bit malty, a little bit of lemon going on. Yeah, nice smooth mouth feel, no carbonation. I did pick up a little bit of lemon on the aroma. There is a subtle lemon taste on the drink. And then you've got a nice lingering multi, multi finish. It is a little bit bitter on the back end, but <clears throat> big sip belch. Yeah, there, there is a, a slight bit of finish. With a, you get like a biscuity malt finish, but then it's it's a slightly bitter finish. Um, our t on the bottle it does say our totally new sort of lager, and on the back it says it's a sort of lager that's brewed the the ale way. Well, I read that and I thought, well, what what does it mean by that? But it's it's very close to a golden ale. Um. Yeah, so you've got a similarity to a golden ale and similarities to a lager. I don't mind a golden ale. Like I said, I've got loads of videos. I do like all styles of beer. But if you are predominantly a lager drinker and you don't like any other styles, you might not get on with this drink. But I like it and I think it's... It, it's okay. For um, a brand new release, it's not outstanding, no. You're not going to talk, oh, it's technically to a new lager, you've got to try that, you've got to, you're not going to, it's not going to hit their headlines. But, it's drinkable, it's okay. Um, 
I doubt we get it again. I think it's one to knock back because it's four point six percent. You could sesh on that. One more go. See if I can pick anything else up. Yeah, nice smooth mouthfeel. No carbonation. Subtle lemon tastes. If you've got to pick one out, it is a lemon lemony taste. Then you get a, a lingering biscuity malt bitterness on the back end. I do like it. I, I am. I'm enjoying it. Let's have a look at the big sip Bolton ability. But the right on the back, that's nice. That is quite nice. But the right on the back, oh, big sip belch. That's it's a sort of lager that's brewed the ale way. That's correct because, like I've said at the, in the middle of the video. It is quite similar to a golden ale. So if you do like golden ales and you do like lagers, try this one out because you'll enjoy that one. Um, I'm gonna give it a big sip rate. It's not outstanding and it's not horrible, um, but it's, it is better than average. It's, it's far worse lagers out there. Um, and try and compare it to golden ales. There's far worse golden ales out there. So I'm gonna give it a big sip rate. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I doubt really enough to drink it again. Um, yeah. Like I said, a sessionable at 4.6% as well. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Luke. More of you to come. More of you to Thanks. Sir.